The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the March 1st, the terrific Tuesday edition of today's Trader's Ed Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that, and that's this. During this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on at 877-927-6648. And if you can't dial in, we've got you covered there, too. You can always let those fingers do the walking. That means you can send me an email. Send it to Steve at tfnn.com. And inside the subject heading, please put radio show question, of course, in our Tigers. Then will any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Tuesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Les Show. Right now, we've got all the U.S. indices trading to the downside. The Dow down 605, 605 points, uh, nearly one and eight tenths percent. The S&P 61, one and four tenths percent. NASDAQ one and two tenths or 170 points. Russell down 33 at one point six percent. Semis off a little three and a quarter, three and three tenths percent, down 112 points. Trend is up 260. New York Stock Exchange down 230. Spot follow takes up 10.8 percent out here. So what you're going to be looking for is a one day rate of change. If you do get that at four o'clock and it's above somewhere above plus 10 percent, you're going to look and anticipate some type of at least tradable um, bottom. That would uh, come into the market. Gold's up uh, 38 bucks. Silver's up a buck. Lights we crude up 850. Boy, what a move up there. It's uh, print, trade, printed out at 104 on its way to the 107 level. Not saying that's where it's going to stop. Just saying that's where it's headed to. Natural gas up 15 cents. That's a big move. It's up uh, trading out at 456. And a 30-year treasury up over two full points. It's trading out at 158.30. Lead the charge dollar-wise to the upside. You got TARJ, Target. TGT is a ticker symbol up 11.5% or 22 bucks. Z Scaler is up 7% or 18 bucks. EPAM Systems, 19 bucks, 9%. Lockheed Martin, 18 bucks or 4%. To the downside, it's booking holdings off 63 bucks, 3%. Ambarella, 43 buckaroos, 31% to the downside out there. AutoZone, off 38 bucks or 2%. SVB Financial, 37 bucks, 6%. So we've got some winners and we've got some losers. John says, please show the uh, chart of the spot volatilics with the uh, uh, greater than and less than minus 10% uh, spot volatility index. So that would take us to this chart right here. So as we, oops, let me just get rid of that. There we go. So if we take a look at this right here. The blue arrows on this chart identify days where there's a one day rate of change greater than plus 10%. And what that typically leads to is either a bounce or a bottom uh, in the market in the following trading session. It typically takes place, well, sometimes it could take place in the early afternoon and still have that spot volatility index close above plus 10%. And what you're really looking for there would be the, the better pattern is the Rhodes momentum indicator signal, because that's where the market stretches itself to one side. And then you've got that, you know, ball coming out of the water so that you get that little bit of a bounce. So we'll take a look at that when we take a look at the equity future contracts. But the green arrows are one day rates of change below minus 10%. Those typically lead to initiation moves to higher price out there. Now, let's go take a look at the markets out here. Let's go take a look at what they're doing. In fact, we'll begin with is what each of you can do on your screens out there. And this is taking a look at the index ETFs. So here you've got the SPY in the upper left-hand corner, the Qs in the upper right. 
Lower left, I've got the diamonds. In the lower right, I've got the IWM. So we've got all four of these. And what we're focused on is their most recent swing point. In this case here, that was from uh, February the 24th. Each made a uh, lower low on that trading session. Now, the volume in the spies on that trading day, again, that's February 24th, was $213 million. We're at 111. We've been trading 9.30, 10.30, 11.30, 12.30, 1, four hours. We only have two and a half more hours, two, two more hours left. Two hours and 15 minutes, I really should say. Um, two hours, 45 minutes. And uh, you've done 68 million shares. It's light in the loafers as price is pulling back in that swing point. Now, we already have a test because the low, so the high of that session was 428.76. The low so far today is 428.50. Yep, by 26 pennies out there. So if price closes above 428.76, you'll have a test and rejection of that swing point. That could or should lead to lower price. In the case of the Qs out there, its swing point high from the 24th was 341.04. You've only gotten down to 341.39. The Dow Diamonds, that level is 332.74. The volume on that trading session was 14 million. You're at 4.8 million today. So truly pulling back on light volume out here. And if price can close above the top of that profile, which is 332.74, you'll have that test and rejection. Let's talk about this for a moment. What happens if price closes below? In the case of the Dow Diamonds, closes below 332.74, closes into that swing point on light volume. Well, then we don't know. What we do know is that then price can go and test that bottom. If you close into a swing point with volume, whether it's to the downside, in this case here, that's what we're talking about, or to the upside, then it increases the odds that price is going to go test that either upper range, in this case here, really be the lower range out there. So you want to watch for that. But you've got, uh, in the case of the uh, IWM, has it actually performed the test? So the low today is 198.58, 198.48. It's missed it by 10 pennies out there. But what we can see with regard to the volume aspect of the markets is, a, is the markets are pushing lower on lighter volume out there. And that's a suggestion that we're not going to see the markets break out this low from February 24th. Doesn't mean that it can't, just means that we're not likely to see that. We take a look at the equity futures out here, the daily equity futures. Well, you're going to see that the ES Mini has tested so far and rejected the 4290 level. That's the high of the same swing point from that uh, February 24th level. The Dow hasn't made, the NQ has not made it back, so much like the uh, QQQs out there. 13,983 would be the number. We've only gotten down to 13,998. The Dow has tested it. 33,205. We're trading at 33,223. So we're going to go look at the intraday chart, see if there's any kind of bottom signal out here. But so far, we've got a test and a rejection. And in the case of the Russell 2000, the low so far today is 1998. 1997.40 is what it needed to get to to get a complete rejection. So we've got the same signals, if you will, uh, taking place here in the equity futures as we just took a look at inside of the uh, uh, index ETFs out here. Let's say this is a, a signal that the markets are going to move higher. Where's the ES mini going to move higher to? Well, the first level that it would move to would be the 4369 level, the center of its d daily profile. The second level would be its descending trend line and maybe even get up to spike the 4484 level. Now, in the NQ, it's got a slight problem out here. If you can ask me where it's going to bounce to, basically is the high of the day, which is 14,342, which is the bottom of that daily profile. And that, in essence, is really the level to be watching on any move higher inside the NQ, because if price can get back inside there, then we could see a move up to 14,653. The Dow, the Dow Diamonds, or the Dow Equity Future contract. If this thing can close above 33,902, that's going to signal a run to 35,060. Look, that's not where we're at right now. Right now, it's just testing the bottom or the top of those swing points from February 24th. And that's really the key level to be watching through the rest of the day. So let's go out to the beach. Steve Rhodes with TFN. We'll be right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, 
is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. questions that have come in we've come in uh, by email the first one coming in by tom g tom writes in uh, good afternoon steve uh, dumped all of uh, nordic american tankers yesterday 357 p.m uh, nice move out there as you take a look at this uh, chart here we're showing the nordic american tankers uh, chart so uh, today starting to reaccumulate lots of laughs and i do have a finder fee for brent out in california hey brent that's good news for you um uh, that's a it's a wonderful thing. So it's, it, we've got a you know surrounded by a group of great uh, traders, all the folks that are inside the Tigers Den, all of you listening in. It's always such a pleasure to uh, be with you and to uh, get, you know share your emails and and read them. So uh, uh, Tom G, let's go take a look at Nordic American tankers. Whereas yesterday I was like, uh, you know, is is this possible? Could this possibly pull back? Because Tom's question was, was where was the entry point? And then Brent was kind enough to say, hey, look, that oscillator and change. I believe it was for Nordic American tankers is getting ready to change colors which it did, which it has, or maybe we looked at it yesterday, and that really becomes the price target. So now what you've got out here today is going to become bar number eight of a TD9 count. Price found resistance at that 240 level. Uh, you're at the low of the day, so from an accumulation standpoint, I don't think we have any signals on the intraday charts. We're going to go take a look at those for you to try to assist. Actually, let me pull over a different uh, set of uh, charts here for Nordic American tankers because that didn't have any of the intraday time frame. So let me pull this one back over. Thank you very much. But back to where, from a daily standpoint, those of you that are listening in that want to get in on Brent's action, get in on uh, Tom G's action out here, then the entry point right now is going to be a buck seventy-four. Now that's going to change. That's that oscillator and change line, and when that changes colors, 
Uh, we typically see price and it catch up to each other. Now, that typically occurs when we get some type of topping signal. Well, today is definitely going to be bar number eight. I could draw some kind of A to B equals CD, and you've got a dark cloud cover, so that's a sell to D point. Price running resistance at that TD nine count breakdown level, 240 out there. Uh, so that's the target area on a move lower. So you should get bar number nine tomorrow. You'll have that topping signal, and I'd say over time, that's what you would be looking for. Now, let's go look at an intraday chart. Let's start with the 30-minute chart. Okay, perfect. So on the 30-minute, why is it perfect? Why would you say perfect, Steve? Well, really because there's two tops out here. So yesterday at 12 noon, that's not when uh, Tom got rid of it, but at 12 noon, what the 30-minute chart had was a TD nine count pattern. And then we can see that this morning on the uh, spike higher inside of Nordic American tankers, what it did, it still closed below that threshold level, bar number eight, but it also generated a Rhodes momentum indicator top. Now you've got two topping signals. Does two tops make it stronger than one? No, not to my recollection, not that I know of. Now you are in bar number six on a 30 minute chart out here. So this could form a TD nine count bottom. Could, we don't know whether it will or won't. You've got to get to those counts out there. But you're in bar number six, that ends at 130. Seven, eight, that would be 230. Three o'clock would be bar number nine. So between three and 330, Nordic American tankers could could form a TD9 count bottom, and that could be the place where you'd be looking at to get in. And it's going into this. You can see here is where the gap to the upside uh, from uh, yesterday morning was. Wide-ranging bar out there, so that would be logical. If you don't get a TD9 count bottom out here on a 30-minute chart, then what that's suggesting to us, we may see a move back to buck 85. That's its breakout level. Now, buck 85 gets us close to that buck 74 out here. doesn't get us there, but that would be an area to be looking. Let's just look at, um, well, look at a 15-minute chart. 15-minute chart says, oh, so this is cool here, Tom. You have the same roads momentum indicator top on a 15-minute basis. You do have a TD nine count bar. Uh, that says you want to watch the close here coming into this 130 time frame. If price starts trading lower, that means that close, or I should say close of low 215, that tells you this 15-minute TD nine count has failed to put in the bottom, and the price would head lower. And there it's also looking at a buck 85. So you got two buck 85s out there. Bucks, uh, the 60-minute chart says watch the 215 level, price close below that. It wants to move to lower ground. So with regard to the accumulation, I'd wait a bit. I'd wait to the 3330 time frame. Hopefully you know the TD9 count pattern out there. You'll be able to keep up with that, and maybe that will assist you. But thanks so much for writing in, Tom, and uh, thanks for recognizing uh, Brent. Much appreciated. Uh, let's take a look at the next question coming in from David in Tomball, Texas. He wants to take a look at ConocoPhillips, COP. Let's get this fired up here. Let's go uh, pay read the question. I'd like to ask you to look at ConocoPhillips. Perfect. We got that. And help me to identify an A to B equals CD up pattern on the daily and weekly charts. You're also interested in any support area. If you have time, please look at oil futures contract as well. So support is going to be pretty easy, which is that yesterday price closed above the top of its daily profile. You're above it today. Day number two, old resistance. That's what it was. Becomes new support. So the next support level on the way down is 93.33. That's from the daily. The weekly is trying to take out the support level at the top of its profile at 94.93. So on Friday, you're looking for a close above that level. If I take a look at ConocoPhillips and go to the monthly time frame chart, I know you asked about A to B equals CD patterns. Not necessarily the easiest here to uh, come up with, but well, we, can, we can come up with something. But in essence, here's what we've done here, David. If we just simply go from the swing point high, from the trading uh, period, month of October of 2018, to the low out here in 2020, and we just simply do a Fibonacci expansion, we can see the price right now at the 1.272 expansion, 96.40. 96.68. As long as price continues to hold this level, we don't see any kind of topping signal on the daily time frame, then this suggests that price will head higher. Well, the next expansion level gets you to the 116.95 area. Now, this is the monthly chart. I know you asked about the daily and the weekly. I'm just looking to see if there's any kind of easy A to B equals CD pattern. So I don't see one so easy here or just clear, but it is much more clear on the weekly time frame chart. Now, the question becomes, where do we want to start this A to B equals CD stuff at? Right, because there are several patterns that are out here. So where is it? So let's just take the conservative one. And the conservative one says, let's start at the most recent swing point low, which here I would choose the swing point from August 16th. That's what I'm going to choose. The question is my system is. There we go. Then for the B point, I'm using the week that began October 25th. And the C point was a retracement into the week of December 20th. Now, the B point had volume of 35 million shares. 
and it was passed with 43 million shares. So this A to B equals CD pattern here, conservative one, as a confirmed pattern. Uh, you don't have a bearish reversal candle. So this says the next price target is 99.85. The next one after that, 109.04. You'd be watching for some type of bullish reversal candle to confirm a sell the D point pattern. If we look at A to B equals CD patterns here on the daily time frame, I take the conservative one, which has a swing point from February 4th of 12 million. You're at 8.7. So it seems like you may be able to pass that. This small one, and there's, there's A to B equal CD patterns all over the place out here. But the small junior one, January 24th low, is the A point, the B point of February 4th. The C point is out here at February 24th. So you've, you've, you likely have volume. We don't know that to be uh, the case just yet. You'll need to look at days in. But that gives you a one-to-one -one up in the 101 44 level, 105.83 would be the 1.272. So I do hope that helps you out. Thanks so much. You mentioned go take a look at Lightspeed Crude. And of course we need to take a look at Lightspeed Crude. So let's go take a look at it. As we get to Lightspeed Crude charts, we'll take a look at our four panel chart out here. And what we'll see is prices above all profile levels. Um, if I were to do the A to B equals CD pattern, similar to what we just did out here, you know, that's not what I'd really use. We look at the weekly. Oh, I'm sorry, the that was the monthly. Well, that was the weekly. I'll look at this when I get back from the break. But basically, what we have Lightspeed Crude doing, it's trading into, now this is on a quarterly basis, but it's already trading into the swing point that set up that all time high back in July of 2008. So, on a longer term basis, looks like Lightspeed Crude is going to get much, much higher in price. Steve Rhodes with TFN. We'll be right back. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com.
This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, guys. So, David, we take a look at Light Sweet Crude out here. We've got the April contract up. It's really hard to draw in. A, a to B equals CD pattern. Yes, Stevie's got one drawn in, but if you look at that B to C retracement, only 19%, 20%. Now, it's still a valid pattern, but I like to see something closer to a, a 0.382 retracement out here. So this suggests targets of 119, 128, 139 out there. And not that, not that price can't get up there, because it most certainly can. I guess the last thing that I would do out here for Light Sweet Crude is uh, go to our eight panel chart. And so I'll switch over to that here. We'll see that today is going to become bar number six of a TD9 count. So that says that we could see a, a short-term topping pattern occur uh, in anywhere from the next two to four days out there. Once we get to bar eight, that can be a top. It's either bar eight, nine, or the bar following nine out there that we'd be looking at. And, if, and as an example of that pattern, if you look at the 30-minute time frame chart, the upper right-hand panel, or let's just expand this out, you'll see that there's a TD9 count top that's in place out here. This formed on the bar following bar number a nine out there. and uh, uh, But what price does, when you get a valid topping pattern, now think of this as about Nordic American tankers. What I'm saying is when that oscillator and change line changes color, sometimes it doesn't have to change color, just simply when you get a topping pattern, the typical push on a move upside or move downside on a retracement is back to the oscillator and change line. Exactly what has transpired here inside of Lights We Crude. It's the reason that I developed that oscillator and change line. Because I want to be able to identify, or be able to communicate to myself, certainly be able to communicate to you, what a retracement is just a retracement. And a green line says we have a price oscillator that is above zero, and it's rising as long as price is above that. That is a very bullish condition. So retracements that are still in those very bullish conditions are nothing more than just retracements back to levels of support. And oftentimes it's the uh, oscillator and change line. It's profiles if they're available as well. In this case here, it was the center of its bearish structure profile that's in place. So you've got a TD9 count top. You know that if the high of the day gets taken out, that tells you about a strong momentum move to the upside. There's nothing bearish here at this stage, and that's as long as this oscillator and change under 104.24 level holds out here. So that's what's going on short term. But the bigger picture, it does appear that Light Sweet Crude wants to continue to move higher. So David H., thanks so much for writing in. We've got a couple questions that have come in inside the Tiger's Den. So if you'd give me a moment here, we're going to change screens, and I'll get over to the uh, panel that um, will take a look at those instruments for us. Uh, where's our three-panel chart? Here's our three-panel. And inside the... Which, what was the symbol? A, B, N, B, Airbnb, A, B, N, B. So let's get that up, and uh, I will get my other charts rolling here momentarily as soon as I can get back to the R's radio charts. There we go. So we take a look at Airbnb. It's trading below the bottom of its daily profile, consolidating with inside its weekly profile. So the range here is 138.64 to 172.79. I'm assuming that the request was for more than just that information. So let's look at the white background charts and look at the daily time frame. What do we have out here? You know, price pulled back to its breakout level at 143.81. We see the oscillator and change line has recently changed colors. Um, so a key level of support is held. That likely is the upside target coda. 16045 and the downside target would be 14381 that is the TD9 count breakout level that's what the daily chart tells us so not really providing a ton of information uh, to us but more likely than not it wants to make that move to the 160 and change level on a weekly basis out here we can see how the TD9 count breakout level is acted as support that's at 14150 and that was back in January uh, on a monthly basis don't really have anything here and short term I'll just look at a 30 minute chart Nice TD9 count bottom turns into a TD9 count top. And now you've got your consolidation between breakout support and breakdown resistance. So, Code, if you're trying to understand what direction is this going to head to, well, the answer will be whichever one of these fails with two consecutive bars above 158.27 says we move higher, or two consecutive bars below 149.12 says we go back and we retest the uh, lows from February the 24th out there. So I hope that helps you out with regard to Airbnb, but it's a twofer because Coda wanted to take a look at ticker symbol AMLP. Now that I don't know what that is, but we're going to go find out. AMLP is, drum roll Johnny, it is the Alps ETF Trust, all Allerian. 
So I've got no idea what this actually is uh, trying to track out here. But what we do know is that price found resistance at the top of that daily profile. And that's at 37.53. That's where you'd be looking for price to close above to suggest it wants to move higher. Price is trading above the top of its weekly and the top of its monthly. So it's really the daily chart that uh, those two are waiting on, or I believe they are, but th those might have tops. You never know. Let's go take a look at the white background chart. So we've got a TD9 count, Rhodes Momentum Indicator, and wave number seven chart out there, Coda. So that's courtesy of Basil Chapman. So we got all three patterns out here. What does price do? Moves all the way back to the breakout level. Holds the breakout level, moves higher. Price right now on a daily basis is testing that green oscillator and change line. If price can hold this level, this level is 37.23. That suggests that it wants to move higher back to those highs that created that TD9 count, wave number seven, and that Rhodes momentum indicator top. On a weekly basis out here, we've got no kind of a topping pattern. Uh, oh, I take that back. Well, the topping pattern actually takes you back to June 18th when well, that was a TD9 count top, and that has been that has failed to have been taken out. So you really need to see a close above that to get bullish. That close is, would be 38.92. You get above that, then you're going to run to 44.10. But you've got good support at that 30.57 level. And then lastly, let's go take a look at the monthly time frame chart. Again, a TD9 count top. So getting above that high out there, again, that high is 38.92 is going to be a significant event in the uh, life of AMLP, but not until it does that will it signal any kind of significant move higher. So hope that helps you out, Coda, inside the Tigers. And we've got a caller. It's Ron in Denver. Ron, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? Great, Steve. Uh, <clears throat> I just wanted to, uh, I, I, I sold some puts on Pacific Biosciences, PACB, okay. uh, when I'm down here. That's one of Kathy Wood's favorite companies. Uh, less than a month ago, it was 58 and a half, and now it's just barely getting above 12. And I, I sold the 12 puts that expire Friday, but I was thinking of buying some long-term calls on it. And I just wondered, what, how does that look to you? So right now, what the Pacific Biosciences is doing, at least today, Ron, it's testing resistance, which is the top of its daily profile, 1233. So if it, if it closed above 1233, then the next move would be up to 1308. And 1308 is the top of the weekly profile. And if it closes above 1308, this thing is suggesting to me, at least from a profile standpoint, that it wants to move higher. So that's your resistance zone, 1233 and 1308. Your support area is between 970, 1101, and 1039 and 1061. Those would be the four numbers there at this stage. Let's pull over the white background chart and see if we can find any additional information to assist us. So as this was making a low, so that's a weekly chart. Let me get to the daily chart. As this was making a low, back on the trading day of uh, January 28th, that was a TD9 count bottom. And that is also, so not only is it testing the resistance level at the top of its daily profile run, it's also testing then that breakdown level that was established by that TD9 count that generated the bottom on January 28th, and that's at 1251. So if you see a close above 1251, certainly two consecutive close above 1251, this is going to signal it wants to move to 2101. We don't have that just yet. And we'll look at a 30-minute chart to see if there's any kind of signal there. But really, this is trading. So that, that's the that's a significant level of resistance. Any questions about that on the daily time frame before I move yeah, to the weekly? No, sir. No. Okay. So on the weekly chart out here, the weekly chart says that red oscillator and change line is a real key level out here. If price can close above that, and that, by the way, is currently printed at 12.88, that's another resistance point. If price were to close above that, that says it wants to make its merry way back to 26.34. Ron, do me a favor. We're going to a break here. Hold on. I want to make sure I answer all your questions about PACB. So we'll be back in just a few, and we'll head back out to Denver. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC. 
LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. We're taking a look at ticker symbol PACB with Ron in Denver. One of uh, Kathy Woodstock's uh, is what uh, Ron has indicated. And, you know, if we were looking at the weekly time frame chart, which is what we're looking at right now, you've got you can understand why she uh, e either has taken an additional position in it or it has a nice weekly TD nine count bottom. And then last week was a Rhodes momentum indicator signal with that bullish hammer. So right now it's just the battle of resistance, and that is the oscillator and change line. And again, Ron, that's printing at about uh, 1288 right now. So we know the resistance has uh, held when we took a look at the daily charts out there. And if I look at a 30 minute chart as resistance was being hit, the 30 minute chart was generated Rhodes momentum indicator top. So it does that at 11 o'clock and it pushes price right back to the support area. And that's its bullish structured profile. And that's between 1166 and 1177. So this level is held. So here's what I would say, Ron. If price is able to close above 1231, the top of that profile, then it's going to go retest today's highs. If it closed below 1166, then price is going to go test 1101. Do you have any questions with regard to the information I've shared with you so far? No, thank you very much. I appreciate that, uh, those okay. rangers. Okay, perfect, because that's all the information that I've got. So uh, I hope that that helps you out, and uh, best yeah. of luck to you in that trade. Yeah, yes. This little company does DNA sequencing, you know, you have children, uh, rare disorders in children, but they're, they move to about 40 different cancers now that they – it's so one of those companies go in and change your DNA and chromosomes and so forth. And uh, oh, so this is so really the ticker symbol here should be G O D, right? That's what they're doing. <laughs> they're going to start playing around with DNA. They're going to start playing around with DNA. I think they made a movie oh, okay. about that, Jurassic Park or something, didn't they? <laughs> in any event, that, that that's just my thinking there. I don't like companies okay. that think they can play God. Uh, okay. So, but anyway, hey Ron, thanks so much for calling, and we'll look forward to speaking to you again. That was Ron in Denver. So let's go to some additional questions that we've got out here. One coming in from Hector and the fuel injectors. And Hector wants to take a look at Happy Taco Tuesday. Back at you, my friend. CVX, please confirm this is a clear consolidation breakout. Well, let's go take a look at that three time frame uh, panel out here. CVX. 
as we take a look at CVX out here, what do we have? So consolidation breakout. Hmm. 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 So not really the not really the pattern that I see. I, I see one of your fa I see your favorite A to B equals C D pattern, most certainly. Let's do this here. Let's just pull over the uh white background charts and see what clear signals we have here. So since I just happens to be on the monthly tab, Hector. Oh, you've even got written here. You got on a monthly since July of 2014. Well, here on a monthly tab, let me share with you. There's certainly an A to B equals CD to the upside. So we'll come back and we'll draw that in. But you're looking for a large consolidation. So now I see the consolidation that he's looking at. Let me go back. Well, first, let me stay with this. And then I'll go back to the black background chart. So I see your consolidation. Just had to pull the chart back far enough. But you've also got an A to B equals CD to the upside. You're in bar number six on a weekly, on a monthly basis. Uh, you know, you don't get a TD nine count top until you get to bar eight, nine, or the bar following nine. So on a monthly basis, uh, Chevron looks muy bueno. On a weekly basis, looks even better than that. Why? Because uh, price negated his TD nine count top. Tells you about a strong momentum move for this time frame to the upside. So that says it wants higher price. And on a daily time frame, you're in bar number five. You do have wave number seven. That's letter G. Uh, this needs a bearish reversal candle to suggest some type of top or short term top, which would really initially be a pullback to the 141 level. I'm not saying that's where we're at in Chevron or CVX, but everything here looks pretty good. Now, with regard to the consolidation, just have to pull this back further. We'll expand out the chart. Uh, the consolidation pattern, uh, where were you going back to? You were going back to, you went to July 2014. Hey, we can do better than that. We can uh, take it back to 2008 if you would like. That's really the bottom of the uh, consolidation, Hector. So this is going to be a gigantic one. So as we take a look at CVX, let's get Stevie's consolidation tool out here. And uh, here's what I would be drawing in. Here is your good old fashioned. Let's do it like this. Your good old fashioned consolidation. And the beauty of a long or any consolidation period is that once you've got the consolidation and if you break it, you typically have a measured move that is equal to or greater than the consolidation. So now as we move that consolidation so over the long tall out here, the long haul, the consolidation breakout says that what Chevron wants to do is get up into the 210 area. You're trading at 147. So, Hector, yes, good spot in other consolidation. We just extrapolated it and took it back a little bit further. And uh, uh, thanks so much for writing in and hope that that helps you out. Next question coming in from uh, Sat P. Please uh, look at Airbnb. We just did that. Okay, so we took uh, so we had two people wanting Airbnb, Code in the Tiger's Den, and Sat P. So we've gotten taken care of that uh, for you. Uh, hopefully you heard that, uh, Sat. If you hadn't, uh, please go uh, rewatch the archive, uh, which should be posted about an hour or so. Nick writes in and he says, "Could you please go over the SMH if you have time? Well, we're going to make time for you. So let's go take a look at the SMH. I know that they are trading back into their swing point from a few days ago. Let's check out the volume." matrix here. So that was the swing point from uh, February, February 24th, 10.7 million shares. You're at 4.8 million shares right now. So it's pulling back with light volume. In order to suggest to us that this may not go test, you know, even when you trade into a swing point with light volume, let's assume that it closes inside this. In order to close inside it, it needs to close below 266.80. And you're at 258.79. But because you've got this profile out here, if the SMHs can hold 260.13, that should be a test of support with inside that, uh, uh, with inside that swing point that would suggest, okay, maybe that's it, and I want to go make a move back to 270 to 273 out there. If you look at the weekly time frame chart for the SMHs, price just simply pulled back to trend lines as well as the bottom of its profile, which is at 256.29. Uh, so that is held. You're inside the profile on the uh, monthly time frame. Let's just pull over quickly the, the uh, SMHs. Let's look at the daily. That moved lower a couple of days ago was a Rhodes momentum indicator signal, wave number seven. It was also confirming a TD nine count that was out there. So you got three different bottoming signals. It's attempting to bottom. But boy, what you don't like is when price is below a red oscillator and change line. So even though you want to see this close back above 260.13, I know you're more bullish on the SMHs out here. You really see, need to see it close above 263.43 or thereabouts because that is that red oscillator and change line. It's always dangerous when price is below that level. So uh, Nicholas, I hope that that helps you out with regard to the SMHs. As always, thanks so much for taking the time to write in. The next question, the last one that we've got here so far, which would be timely, is uh, Stevie, uh, could you please provide your analysis on Bitcoin and XBI? Um, so let's take a look at, 
Well, let me just put a BTC. I think it is still the March contract out here. Uh, that would be H22. And let's just take a look at that and see what kind of profile. So as we look at Bitcoin futures, what it's doing here, uh, Rich, it's uh, trading with inside its bullish structure daily profile. And as long as price closed about 43078, that would suggest to you and I that it should go make a run for the 45965 level. Let me pull over. This is just a daily chart out here. Just looking for any other signals. Now, this can't be right. Um, what the heck? So for whatever reason, I'm not getting a good data feed on the black background chart because this has a 53.3. Oh, I got. Oh, I know why. Because I'm looking at 2021. Hello, Steve-O. So let me get this fired up and go to March of 2022. That would seem to be more appropriate. Don't you think, Rich, if I'm analyzing something that should be in the present, not the past? I don't want to be a prisoner of my past. And we're not going to be. Now we've got the charts out here. We take a look at Bitcoin. What has it done? What other information can we provide? And the answer is not much. But Steve Rhodes with TFNN, your key level of resistance in Bitcoin is going to be 49,710. Steve Rhodes with great. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis the tiger first mortgage program may be the program for you the best rate on a five-year cd in the country right now according to bankrate.com is paying one percent per year or one thousand dollars per one hundred thousand dollars invested the tiger first mortgage program pays seven percent per year paid monthly on secured high value buildable properties in saint petersburg florida the investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. You want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First mortgage. The Tiger First mortgage program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First mortgage program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, uh, folks. So I'm just going to leave the black charts up on my screen out here. I can uh, share with you that we had a nice Rhodes momentum indicator bottom pattern 
on the 24th on the daily time frame. And price, this is XBI, by the way, that we're taking a look at. So you got a valid bottoming pattern out here. It's just simply led to a consolidation with inside the daily profile. Resistance is 91.69 and support is 85.99. You close above resistance, you should have higher, at least to the 98 level. If you close below support of 85.99, you go back and you retest that bottom signal. The weekly chart, uh, last week generated a uh, buy the D point pattern. So now you have a long term A to B equals CD. You're inside a bullish structured profile. So a second bottom you've got on the weekly, you've got on the daily. If price can close above on a weekly basis, 9095, XBI should make its move to 10155. That's the top of its profile. The monthly chart has a TD nine count bottom. Now the TD nine count bottom formed in January of 2022. And as long as that uh, low holds, that is 8389. Doesn't mean you can't test it. As long as price closes above that, you have a TD nine count bottom for the monthly, a buy the D point on the weekly and a Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom on the uh, daily. So the question, the answer to your question, if it was a question, was um, even though this looks weak, it has all the signals you want to be able to make a, a move higher out there. It's not a guarantee, but if you were looking for something that had uh, patterns for all three time frames, well, just turns out that XBI is it. Now to finish off the show, just to kind of give you a feel for what might take place in the short term out here, let's go look at those 30 minute equity future contract charts. What do we have out here? You've got a potential for a, a TD nine count bottom that could form between two and three in the ES mini. It's just got to spike a little bit lower. Well, let me just make sure. Maybe it has already done that. If I update this, will it move over? It has not. So it still needs to spike lower in order to be able to do that. But uh, look for that. That's a possibility. Only in bar number seven on the NQ. That uh, defers it for about another half an hour out there. Uh, same thing for the Dow equity future contract between, really between two and uh, three. There could be a bottom. And the same thing when I take a look at the Russell 2000. Actually, it's in bar number nine right now. So watch this between now and uh, 2 30. And uh, so, folks, stay tuned. You've got two more great hours left. Tom O'Brien from 3 to 4 will take you home. Your favorite polar bear, he's up next, David White. Take care, folks.